Hi, I'm Robin with the Grundy Museum, and today we're going to make a sycamore bark star ornament using materials that we've collected out on our Grundy Museum grounds. We have some magnificent sycamore trees on our grounds, and they uh, shed their bark on a regular basis. We always thought it would be fun to make something out of these. So we um, have collected bark, um, and Natalie, one of our um, staff members, has collected miniature pine cones. Um, we've dried uh, hydrangea flowers and rose petals, and we're going to put an ornament together that you can either use uh, for your tree or as a gift tag. And um, we also thought it would be nice if you wanted to put something on here, uh, handwrite a little note, and you could glue it on at the end that says you're a star and just give it to somebody. So let's get started, and I hope you have fun. So we have our sycamore bark ornament, and you can see that we've broken up the sycamore bark that we've picked off of our grounds, and we've broken it up into tiny little pieces so that it goes on to the ornament better. Uh, we've also got um, dried hydrangea flowers here that we pressed, uh, dried rose petals, some miniature pine cones that were picked off of our hemlock trees. And these were baked in the oven at about 150 for about 15 minutes and make sure that you do take them out because it's a little dangerous to bake those. And I also have some dried purple status from a um, flower arrangement that I had. So I do have a glass here that I like to set um, this on to work so it doesn't stick to my surface. And we're gonna get started. First thing we're going to do, I am going to use tacky glue. Now you can use um, school glue, you can use Mod Podge. Uh, hot glue does work quite well, but right now I'm just going to put a thick layer of tacky glue all over my cardboard. And we want to get this nice and thick and spread to the edges so that all of my bark can um, be adhered to there quite nicely. We also want to keep uh, in mind that I do have a hole right here that we don't want to cover up. So we're just going to start with our bark and start placing it. One thing to keep in mind with the bark is if you're doing this one-sided, don't worry about the edges because you can trim it off later but we are going to just fill all of this in. And if you don't have um, some of it covered up, it's fine because your cardboard will look just fine throughout. Uh, smaller pieces do work better uh, because like I said before, they do curl a little bit. So we're just getting all of this covered up. It is a little bit messy. There's no mistakes. And it's just a nice natural ornament. Uh, it's a good time of year to uh, go pick things like fall leaves, different kinds of bark. And I don't have to worry about the center of it too much because we are going to um, put our hydrangea flower and our um, rose petal right there in the middle. And we're also putting another layer on top to seal this, so we should be in pretty good shape and you could fill in those little bits here. So right now I think that that's a pretty good amount. Um, like I said, if it's a little bit loose, I wouldn't worry about it. And I'm going to then do a rose petal. Um, and you can put a thick layer of your glue on this. And this will really uh, smash right into my bark and hold everything in place. I'm going to take my hydrangea flower and again a little bit of, well actually a lot probably, <laughs> of glue. And we'll do that a little bit off center here so you could still see the rose petal. And I think I'm going to put a mini pine cone on. Something like this works well with hot glue, but a nice tab of that off to the center. And I'm gonna put some purple status in all of my corners. 
And if some of your bark lifts up, don't worry about it. Just put it back in place. And we're going to take our purple and make some purple corners. And like I said, don't worry about that. And that's going to be it. Um, you do have to come back in every once in a while and push down on it a little bit. It's going to take about 24 hours to dry. And I do like to use Mod Podge, but you can water down Elmer's glue or tacky glue to put your final coat on this. And this does um, get a little bit tricky because some of your bark um, and some things will lift up. And um, you have time at home if you make like a little um, assembly line of this and have them sitting out and the next day come back in and put a second coat on everything just to cover them up or fill in the blanks. Now my hole for this is right here and you could see that we did string the twine through there so that would be my twine and there you have it.